all right welcome back to another video so um this team i don't know what i was thinking i just <laughs> i have nothing to put out in terms of content so i kind of came up with this random like team i guess like this team build so basically i just want to use chandler with the one and i also have red fat king yeah i know red fat king but i never used him like at all uh since i got him like i haven't touched him i leveled him up you know super waking for him and everything but i just never j used him i literally never used him so i thought it'd be fun to kind of do a random type of team you know what i'm saying so uh, we'll see how this team performs really the overall thing about it is i want to take advantage of king's rejuvenation like because of his you know of his recovery skill because of his recovery skill right it can be useful no one really runs healers anymore the only person who really heals that scene a lot is kind of tarmio with his grace and that only heals himself or who you know whoever he's linked to so i'm gonna try and take advantage of this it is a low heal um you know 100 150 and then 250 percent of attack and then it rejuvenates that is the big thing it does rejuvenate so it can go off we'll see how it performs um in you know actual battle now keep in mind this week and next week is 4v4 pvp so every single unit is going to be on the field so i feel like really with this team setup which is kind of why low-key i had to bring in um fat king that's kind of why i had to do it so i feel like with this build i can actually kind of have a chance in pvp because i feel like you know king with his healing could be very very clutch like i said no one really runs healers and it you know it I, I guess you could say it's because of how the meta is and how it always shifts and there's just really no predominant healers so let's see what the first match uh is bond all right to be honest though um you don't really face bond teams like that you really don't bond kind of just been i don't want to say he's been dying but he's kind of just been um you know put on a back burner i guess you could say because no one runs him it's i mean it is what it is but it just it kind of sucks you know what i mean because everyone's summoned for bond and now margaret Seal's coming out in a couple of days on global uh you know kusak is a legit counter to bond so i don't know what net marvel was doing with these festival <laughs> units anymore i know a lot of people are i don't want to say upset but i know a lot of people are disappointed with kusak or kusak however you pronounce his name being the festival unit and to be honest i kind of agree with you guys i feel like he didn't do anything at all to deserve a fast unit because he didn't do anything he literally did not do jack squat like jack diddly squat the what the most he did was i don't know he fought merlin for a little bit got wrecked uh he used renaissance on arthur and then he just kind of merged into the center <laughs> that's really all he did he he didn't do much so I mean, it is what it is, but I just feel like he didn't do much to deserve a festival card. But whatever. He's he's all right. Like, I give him all right. I don't think he's as bad as people might, you know, think he is. But he's, you know, he's all right. Um, what do I want to do here? I guess we'll just do boom. Uh, boom. And then I'll put up a counter. We get the uh, charge ult next turn with Chandler. We should. Well, I mean, we're looking good. He's not really doing much. He is going to unfold. Fortunately, he is going to buff up right here, but I feel like we'll be okay. I, I do feel like we'll be all right. I'm going to try and take out his support, though. I, that's that's the major thing. I don't know, actually, if he's going <laughs> to... There's no way Twigo lives. I, I, ref, I actually refuse to believe that Twigo lives through that ultimate, and then I'm just going to try and take out uh, Arthur. That's all I'm going to do. Because there's no... Twigo is not that strong. Even buffed up, he's not that powerful. There's no way. Yeah, I was going to say, there's no way even buffed up that he's that strong to go ahead and survive uh, Chandler's ultimate. There is no way. But yeah, let's just try and take out... Uh, well, yeah, I guess we win. Because we took out both of his HP supports. So we pretty much won this match. There's nothing he can do. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, GG's to this opponent. Unless, well, I guess he could make a comeback with the one ultimate he could actually yeah he, he actually could so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna make him focus on the one because he's gonna rush all i'm gonna get all with the one escanor and then i'll probably try and block out bond okay he goes for king smart 
Does he take out King here? Yeah, he does. Okay. Hmm. Merge? No merge. Um. Hmm. All right. So what I'm gonna do is he six out of six? Oh, he might have. Yeah, he might actually won if he's six out of six. He is six out of six. I think he won. Yeah, there's nothing I could do. Um. All right. Well, I mean, I guess it's whatever, right? GG's to me. Because there's, there's literally nothing I could do. Because he'll just literally all into my uh my uh what's the name my Escanor here, and uh, yeah he wins. <laughs> that's it. That's that's all I can really do. So the, I mean the good news is I blocked out Bond, right? But I mean that was a good first match. It wasn't bad at all. That was actually a really really good first match. But I, yeah I think it's over right here. I think it's GG's for me because he's gonna nuke into Escanor, right? Right. He's 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 gonna nuke in Escanor. Just give it some time. He's 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 thinking. I don't know what he's thinking about. Cause once he nukes in the Escanor, like he he literally kills my other unit. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So Bond's not gonna really do much damage. Wow. He nuked into Chandler. Okay. He kills the one Escanor. Yeah, he kills the one Escanor. Yeah, it's GG's for me. There's nothing I can do. Um, I mean, whatever. It, it happens. So let's go ahead and let's just uh, <laughs> let's skip to the next match. Then nothing else to see here. All right, we're into the second match, and uh, okay, we're facing another Bond team. <laughs> okay, so now they want now they want to give me Bond teams. All right, sure, sure. Uh, all right, what do I want to do here? I think. I'm going to rank up into Escanor, and we're going to take out Twigo. And then, after that, we're going to go for Arthur. Because that's pretty much what you want to do when you're facing Bond teams. Like, Bond teams, honestly, they're not. it's not really that good for 4v4. Because if you're running Twigo, like, literally, Twigo's going to get absolutely body slammed. Like, he's he's dead. There's no there's no saving Twigo. Then right there, you lose out on, uh, you know, a, a part of your max HP <laughs> to, to do damage with bond so you basically just lost 30 percent of your um of your damage so yeah it's not really the best to run in 4v4 pvp but people are going to run it anyway because it's it's purgatory bond it is what it is but i just i don't think it's really that smart or good of an idea and i'm just i'm honestly i'm gonna nuke into uh I'm gonna nuke into the Arthur with this first skill right here, and I win because we already have two ultimate move gauges for Escanor. So move this, move that, and then because there's there's nothing he can do. I refuse to believe that he he can't do anything. Yeah, no, actually he really can't because I forgot about Chandler's passive. Chandler's passive helps out a lot as well because Chandler's passive reduces all their stats by seven. Well, not all their stats, but whoever you know attacks it reduces their stats by seven percent so right here Escanor just lost seven percent of all his stats if he hits again that's 14 so we're good and then okay i guess bond lost you know seven percent which he wow okay king actually how much <laughs> how much hp does king have oh my god he actually lived through all of that that's insane he has wow yes <laughs> okay uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use this rejuvenation card because again right we're going to nuke into Arthur's. I think it's going to hit. I think the death damage will hit Escanor. I'm, I'm, I think. I don't know, but I think it will. It, it should. Yeah, I think. I think. Yeah, it's going to hit. And we get a crit. Nice. That's just icing on the cake. Yeah, it hits Escanor. Yeah, we win. There's nothing that this, you know, there's nothing that he can do at this point. It's, it's GG's. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, so we can we're gonna heal up damage because of the rejuvenation card, which is fire. Um, but then, but then I can do this. I'm just fool, I'm just you know messing around right here, but I'm gonna do that, and then we just take off any extra effects that he has. So if he is six out of six, which I probably should have checked, if he is six out of six, um, he can't do rupture damage, even though that doesn't matter because we don't have buffs, but. Yeah, I'm just messing around. Any any chance I get to show, I probably will. Right, the rank three dragon claw. And then I don't even know if Bond will kill King. Let me see. 
Okay, he he killed King. Okay, that that might have been a little bit of a downplay on my boy um, Bond, but he had no support there. So I I genuinely thought that he wasn't gonna. Ooh, wait a minute. Hold on. Wait. There we go. Now we get basic stats increase. Yeah, I'm just messing around. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> I'm just messing around. But yeah, we get the basic stats increase, and uh, bank wow all right yeah it was over it was over right there but uh yeah that's ggs uh let's go on to the next match i'll see you guys there all right this is the final match of the video Ooh, okay assault meliotis now this is a team that uh you know you see here and there but okay i don't know how to <laughs> honestly don't know how to play around this um i guess honestly but if he's using Mm. Okay, on okay. What I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna rank up Chandler. No, no, no. I don't know what to do. I, I honestly don't. Okay, you know what? Screw it. He might be using dodge food, but honestly, I don't care. All right, he might be using dodge food, which he probably is. Let's see. Let's see if I'm right. No dodge food. Okay, so Sigurd's dead. <laughs> Sigurd's literally dead. Um, no dodge food. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Uh, all right. So now we just gotta worry about pretty much all we really gotta worry about is assault melee. I mean, Droll's a little bit of a no like he's a little bit annoying too. But if assault mode gets his all, we're dead. Like that's it. There's no ant. There, there's no discussion. No ants, ifs, or buts about it. We're just dead because assault mode's ultimate is <laughs> it's it's insane. Okay, goes for Escanor. Um, we do have a heal card, which is nice. I can utilize that. Also, King's passive, low key, low key is kind of god tier because he removes every single debuff. Uh, just just want to let you guys, <laughs> let you guys know that he removes every single debuff. That's that's insane on himself, right? But it's still pretty damn good because he can't literally he can't be dissolved with um you know facing. Zelders, he can't be dissolved, so that's really, really good. We can get his ult, I think. Yeah, I think that gets him his ult. Yeah, so we get his ult, and then now what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and kill Meliodas with this King's ult because his ultimate actually is pretty like it hits pretty hard. The problem is if he, you know, if how many amplify cards does he have? Oh, he's going for okay, he's going for the one Eskimo, which is smart. That's actually really, really smart. Let's see what happens. Okay. He kills Escanor. Droll's taunt leaves this turn. No, he puts up another one. Okay. No, um, that's not the worst, I guess. Because I can save... Yeah, I can save... Uh, What is it? King's ult then. We put up this full counter. How long does this last for? Three turns. Ooh, I like that. Put up the full counter. I, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm gonna stop him from using his ult. This is a good team to face, though. Using like using the team build I'm ha like I have right here, this actually is not a bad team to face off against because every unit that you know we're facing, like Droll, Zeldris, Meliodas, Sigurd, we actually can counter every single unit here, which is insane. So we'll see what I can do. I'm again. I'm gonna try and kill Assault Meli emphasis and try to kill assault meliotis but i don't know if i'll be able to I, I genuinely do not know if i'll be able to kill him off um all right so see how much because all right we do have the buff how are we at max stacks no we're at four with, with gother he is six out of six so this should hit pretty hard i think i'm gonna stop that and then i'm just gonna i'm gonna hit with uh gother so let's see because again he is type advantage you know he has oh wow even then it didn't kill him which is that kind of sucks not gonna lie because i think that just we didn't kill assault meliota so i think we, we pretty much just died right there yeah because since we didn't kill him all of these debuffs on us are active droll even with you know charge effect not procced still gonna wipe it, it's probably still gonna wipe <sighs> that's unfortunate that really is unfortunate i was hoping we could at least win against this team but you know i'll, I'll you know this was for fun 
right? It was just for fun. He didn't kill... Hmm. He didn't kill Chandler, which is kind of crazy. I thought he would at least kill, Ch uh, kill Chandler, but sure, sure. Yeah, see, Droll just does too much damage. Like, it's just... It's just insane. Like, <laughs> and then he goes for uh, the boy King. Yeah, GG's. I mean whatever it was just for fun like a little fun video I, I honestly thought we had it there i guess king just he he didn't have enough damage honestly if we would have had the last stack of gothers passive we would have won so that's the only like rip about that if i would have oh my god there's so many things that i could have did that would have actually made us win that <laughs> like there's so many things i could have done that would have killed off assault meliodas right there with that ultimate i could have increased king's attack cosmetics i could have got the last stack with gother potentially i could have got a lot of a lot of things but i didn't so it is what it is let me know if you guys enjoyed the video if you did um leave a thumbs up for the algorithm and you guys already know as always i will see you all next time